All right, so I just bought a few games on the Oculus Quest. There's a few new things out. So I'm gonna see if I can use it to try to get some good exercise and get my heart rate up. I got this game called Arizona Sunshine. It's like a, a, a zombie game, but with enough moving, am I gonna be, you know, like getting a little bit of a workout? I also got this boxing game too. And I'm pretty sure the boxing one, I'm gonna be exhausted in. I wanna start off this morning by killing some zombies. This is creepy already. I'm in this dark room with my hands, which look like real hands. Boop. Oh. Um, that's not cool. I feel like I'm gonna play this later when I feel like being disturbed. Yeah. Okay, I guess I stand, I stand here and we're gonna burn some calories. I had my doubts. Can VR really be a good workout? And it is. 180 beats per minute. The time's flying because it's a game, you know? Oh gosh, this is good. I can't see myself going to the gym every day, but this, I can play every day. I just went to a virtual gym and did a virtual workout. I'm in the future. Oh man, my fitness ring is happy. Usually I'm like struggling to try to get all my steps and calories and exercise minutes in, but here it's like just starting the day and most of it's already complete. So I'm gonna start playing this every single day, not just because I want to, although that might be part of it, but I think this could help me get exercise every single day. And as long as I eat healthy and play this, I think I might get in pretty good shape. I've also been trying to do a better job at watching what I eat this weekend. I did a terrible job. I ate a lot of pizza, some chicken wings, just everything possible that was bad, I ate it. <laughs> but I feel like it's really hard to eat healthy if you're busy, right? But uh, we started ordering food from this place called Territory. I'll show you our fridge. There are these things, Territory. And they seem like they have some pretty good options and they're all microwave ready within a few minutes. Clean food, chef prepared and made fresh. And the meals are pretty tasty. So black beans with steak fajitas. You just toss that in the microwave for a couple minutes. They actually get delivered twice a week because they expire so fast, which is actually kind of a good thing. I like that because that means all these are always fresh and it's not packed with a ton of preservatives. But yeah, Territory isn't sponsoring this or anything, but I do have a code. It's kind of like um, a referral friend code. So if you want to give them a shot, I'll drop that down below. It's like 25 bucks off your first two orders. So you'll save 50 bucks. And I think I get like two of these meals for free or something like that. So if you end up using my code, I appreciate the lunch. I used to also use this other one called Freshly and they're pretty good too. I want to say they're a little bit cheaper, but I just kind of like the selection from this place a little bit better. They also have a few more vegetarian options and we're trying to eat less meat right now, which is one of the main reasons why we switched from Freshly's to Territory. Territory does become a little bit more expensive than Freshly. These are like shrimp tacos and you know, microwavable foods just have such a bad reputation, but this is like a whole lot better. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Workout sesh number two. Oh, hey, what's up, Sam? Oh, man. God. Just... When you took that up, it just squirted all over the place. That's Dude, really? Oh, man. That's, <laughs> one... <laughs> That's like <laughs> the one thing I need to figure out is how do we get us not so sweaty? That is the thing I need to figure oh, out. Oh, man. But that was gross. I'm going to do a weight loss all by going to a virtual gym. This is the first time I've ever crushed my fitness goals on my watch. Dude, you're dripping in sweat. like literally. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's like it's still not even 2 p.m. Am I already like a thousand calories in? Do you think I'm gonna lose a lot of weight now? Now that I found well, my Well, now thing? that I see how sweaty you are, yeah. Hey, you wanna put this on, No, Sam? I don't wanna. Dude, it's so wet, it's soaked. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good clickbait title though, isn't it? Yeah. I went to a virtual gym for, I don't know, I might just start out by two weeks or something. I also got this scary game on here. I'm excited to play that, but that's a two player game. Ooh, wow. You should talk, You should get a two, and we should okay. play two player. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, I think Carrie even wants to get one, but they're sold out everywhere because of the coronavirus, like the export issues. Uh, yeah, I heard. So you can't get it anywhere. I would be like, link in description, but there are no links in description right now because everywhere on the Oculus website, the only way to get it, I think right now, is through eBay and everyone's selling it for much higher than the actual cost hmm. because of demand, you know? 
They're taking advantage of the coronavirus. All right, so this is day two of virtual gym workouts. <laughs> but I am freaking sore, man, which feels dumb. It's like, oh, why are you sore? Did you do an intense workout yesterday? No, I just went and played video games. <laughs> Everything's in pain. My back, my legs, my, my, like, I don't know what you call these muscles. These things. Love handles? Yes. Here, here, my arms, my chest. Like, I had a hard time crawling out of bed. I was like, I don't know if I could do another boxing sesh today. I might have to wait till it heals. Ah, I'm feeling kind of nervous actually, because I just uploaded a 24 hour vlog. Well, I actually ended up being only 12 hours because that's YouTube's limit. Oh, you know what I should have done? So I recorded a 24 hour vlog and I could only upload 12 hours of it, but they do accept 60p video. So what I should have done it's taken my video, ramped it up two times so that the 24 hours would have been condensed into 12 hours. And then I should have told you guys to play the video at half speed. So then essentially you could watch the four. Ah, oh, why didn't I think about this sooner? But yeah, I'm a little bit nervous about uploading that 24 hour vlog because it's so raw. <laughs> okay, M6 Mark II. I've had this for a little while and then I did a giveaway with it. And then now I realized I really miss having it. So I bought another one. I was using the A6600 for a little while and it's nice, but I just love the way that this camera looks just straight out of here. And since I want to start doing more vlogging, this camera can get a little bit big. So I'm just setting up this thing as kind of the mini version of this camera. So if I go out to like a restaurant or something and I want to vlog over there, it's a little awkward bringing this thing around. I'm just a hobbyist. No one minds if I'm just going around filming with this. So I'm probably going to start filming some of these videos on here as well. It's a nice camera. Ooh, and I've been needing another one of these camera straps by Peak Design. I've been talking about a lot of Peak Design stuff lately, but no, I mean, I actually, I actually paid money for this. But these straps are dope. Sometimes you want a camera strap, but sometimes you don't want it. It gets in the way. So the solution is to feed these little tabs through. When you want a camera strap, you just kind of hook it in like that, snaps into place. Now you got a camera strap. If you're going to throw this on a gimbal or whatever, you just take it off. Piece of cake. Love these. And finally, got this sent to me. This is something I'm going to be testing uh, for a little bit, but this is a knockoff GoPro pretty much, but I think it's about a hundred 20 bucks or something like that. We'll test it out and see if it's absolute junk or if it's actually worth taking a look at. I mean, just because of the price. It's not gonna be as good as a GoPro. Now, as far as my diet's been going, two days in a row, I've been going to the virtual reality gym. So that's pretty good. And have I've you, been going to the real gym. You should see like who loses more weight by the end. Real gym versus virtual reality gym. Clickbait right there. How would you not <laughs> click that? I think like with my virtual reality workouts, like I am losing a lot of calories. Like my heart rate goes up to 150, 180 during the workout. So I'm definitely sweating and losing calories, but I think I've just been doing a bad job at eating better food. Cause we went and got Hawaiian barbecue just yeah. now and it was delicious. You know that I um, hate dancing, right? Yes. And I'm a terrible dancer. I have no idea how to dance. I tried to teach you once. You did yeah, poorly. Yeah, I did very poorly. <laughs> I was looking through games that you could do um, workouts in, and there's this one that's like a dance game. It, you go to a virtual club and do some virtual dancing. Just, I don't know. What if I play this game, and all of a sudden, like, you see me next week, and I'm just like a pro. Just murder the dancer and just walk away like nothing happened. All, all from, <laughs> all learning from the VR headset. How funny would that be? This is the guy I come to the dance club with. So, here's the club. Can you see? Dude, this is top. Oh, but he's doing all this stuff with his legs. So, I think I just have to try to match somewhat. Do I look like a pro or do I look like an idiot? You're by far the stiffest dancer I've ever seen in my life. I'm just, I'm focusing <laughs> on the hands first. I have to start here and then I can work on my legs and stuff. Do I look like I could be at the club? Would you be impressed if you saw me at the club, <laughs> Sam? See, he, look at his hips. Can you see his hips? It's like, he's got like, he's really good at like shaking the booty. I need to learn to shake the booty. <laughs> this is tough. This is not an easy game. The boxing game is so much easier. Yeah, see, he <laughs> thought it was tight, Sam. Your turn. You were moving, I guess. One day, I'm gonna go to the club and just tear it down. Is that what people say? Is that what dancers say? You gotta yeah, tear, tear it up. Tear it up. 
Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Murder on the dance floor. <laughs> yes, I'm going to commit a murder on the dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> Sam also bought an Oculus. Are you gonna get this game for it? He's in the moment right now. He needs to focus. That's actually way harder than it looks. <laughs> you wanna try the boxing game? Yeah, I do wanna playing? try the boxing game. Right. See, these squats that you're doing right now, they're gonna wear you out. <laughs> Just trying to make it look like I was fighting you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, my heart's racing, man. The easiest way to play the game is if you just like ignore, you know, your posture and just literally just go like this and uppercuts like this and hooks like this. But then if you actually try to stand in like boxing stance and when you, you know, throw a hook instead of just going like this with your arm, if you actually throw your body into it a little bit, then I feel like you get. A decent workout. Like yesterday, I was so sore because I played this for like an hour and a half straight. Because it's VR and I see it more as a game, I don't realize how tired I am until I stop. Like I always got the feeling of going to a gym and going like, mm, I guess I gotta do it. But with the game, I'm just like, oh, I'll put it on. Maybe I'll just do it for two minutes. And then you get hooked. And then you get hooked. And then all of a sudden you're doing it for 90 minutes and then you take off your goggles and you're like, wow, I just burned a bunch of calories. I just weighed in at 175 which is actually the highest I've weighed in in a while. This video is supposed to be about me losing weight, not gaining it. <laughs> Here's been my weight over the last month. It's just been going up, man. I gotta take this virtual gym stuff more seriously so I can defeat Sam in the weight loss contest. I'm going in. Oh, oh man. And literally just by playing one level on this boxing game, like, see that? See how the rings almost look full? That's pretty great, because the goal throughout the whole day is to fill out those rings. Oh man, I definitely need a fan. I'm gonna go grab one. Oh yeah, that fan needs to stay there. I sweat a lot. I always have. I've always been like a really sweaty person. It's kind of gross, I know. I have to take the shirt off. It's coming off. It's stuck on me. The part that sucks is I have to wear this on my eyes. Pants are coming off too, it's, it's hot. Like whenever I'm playing these games in my head, it's like so intense and cool, I'm like, yeah, I'm beating up these bubbles, yeah. But if someone just like walks in while I'm in my underwear playing it, like how cool do I look right now? Yeah, die bubbles. <laughs> Anyways, time to finish off these rings. Oh my God. See, I used to struggle to get, you know, all the rings filled, but now I'm like doubling it or tripling it. So as long as this is accurate, this should work. Hopefully this is accurate. She's done it again. So nasty. That's gotta be like the third or fourth time. <laughs> <laughs> so she's never done this before, but recently she started rolling around in her own poop or some poop, somebody's poop. So we'll come home and she'll be like chilling on the sofa with like poop on her neck. <laughs> Apparently it's a thing that dogs do when they're hunting. They roll around in poop to try to camouflage their own smell. Ugh. It's probably hunting the possum that lives around here. When we first got the security cameras up, we uh, found out that there's a possum who comes uh, around once in a while. Yeah, I enjoy watching our security cameras sometimes. Like, remember that time when some guy walked past and there was a, a, a water bottle that was like basically empty. It was on the gutter in front of our street. So this guy walks up to it and he picks it up and we're like, oh, that's nice of him to, for throwing it out for us. And he like looks at it, shakes it up a little bit, looks at the, and then drinks it. <laughs> he drinks like that much water. It's like, was that worth the risk? And then, and then he just drops it right at the same exact spot and then continues to walk. We're like, what? Why would you start rolling around poop? That's so gross, you should stop it. Bad dog. But I'm gonna keep petting you. Have I lost any weight yet? 174, I haven't really lost much weight yet. I'm not really expecting to just like drastically lose weight within a couple days. Uh, my goal is one to two pounds a week. But man, I uh, uploaded the 24 hour vlog yesterday and i get a message that an hour and a half into the video my address and phone number show up in the video and sure enough for a split split second way in the corner bam right there see that for a split split second in the corner right there see that somebody caught it last night and i was like okay no one's paying that close attention to that. Honestly, I didn't think anybody was gonna actually go through 
the 12 hour but people are saying they're actually trying to get through the whole thing which i don't really recommend it's just not entertaining enough to watch it in my opinion but i was like okay somebody caught it that's that i'm shocked that someone actually caught that but i doubt anybody else is gonna find it. and i wake up and i get a few more messages and a, and a text message i appreciate the people that let me know that my personal information is in that video thank you you guys are so observant and i was so careful to not show like too much personal information like we did some unboxing during the vlog and i pulled off all the shipping labels off everything that we we're gonna unbox the day before stuff like that just so that like to cover my tracks a little bit but right there on youtube itself there's a couple tools you can either go blur out a little section or cut out a little chunk and i was like right, i'll do either of those that way it's still the same video I don't have to take it down and put up a whole new one. It turns out a video of this length cannot be edited on YouTube's editor at all. So I can't trim, I can't blur, I can't do any of that. So I'm gonna re-render and then re-upload and ah. Uh. Anyways, my biggest weakness is eating out. So my goal is to try not to eat out at least until I lose some weight. Grateful black bean kale and tahini bowl is on the menu today. Yeah, look at that. Finally got it rendered, so now I gotta start the upload process again, and this is gonna take another full 24 hours-ish to upload and process and become visible again, so. Doing that today. But what do we have here? Oh yes, black Sharpies. I have so many Sharpies, but none of them are black. Some power cables, I'm gonna use this to try to organize my charging station a little bit. I didn't realize this was a two pack, so I wanted two, but I ended up with four. And this, I'm very curious about right here. Car carpet or home fabric mini pet hair detailer. I wanna test this out because my Jeep seats are just covered in fur. It's just interesting, this is just like rubber. I really wanna test this out because my Jeep seats are just covered in fur. So whenever someone like sits in the back seat and you just come out and they're just covered in dog hair on the back. Time to put this to the test. It's not a brush at all, it's just like rubber. See this? This is the stubborn stuff. Like a vacuum doesn't do anything just stuck so I'm hoping that this actually does something oh no there it goes oh yeah it's still gonna take a minute to do but look at that well, I think what you should do is you get it like in a pile and then uh -huh. you take a piece of tape or a sticky roller and then yeah. you just sticky roll the that yeah because what this rubber does is it grips the hair and then pulls it out because the issue is that the hair gets stuck inside the fabric essentially so the rubber just yanks it back out so that's Hey, it's actually working. Flawless. So ignore this stain right here. Don't know what that's from. That stain too. Don't know what that's from. But no dog hair. All right. How much did you uh, pay for it? Lily brush. I think it's like under 10 bucks or something like that. Do you want to tell the viewers where to buy it? link in the description <laughs> yeah you anyways let's wrap up this vlog and i'm still a little bit short on my activity ring so you know what time it is 